How was your weekend, Taysom? It was good. It was really good. Thanks. Nice to have a day off. What was practice like today? It was good. Uh, it was long. We're starting to uh, uh, increase the amount of time and reps that we're getting now. Um, starting to get all the looks that Virginia's going to give us. And um, I thought we played really hard. We played really fast. And uh, going against a, a new look as far as the defense, we didn't execute as well as uh, we will by the end of the week. But uh, I, like, I like the way we're headed. Obviously, it's early on, but what, what what are you expecting to see from Virginia from what you've seen so far? Yeah, a lot of cover one, uh, a lot of cover zero. Um, they like to, to bring blitzes both sides, uh, middle dog cross, uh, field bombs. So they, they like to, to apply pressure, and uh, that's what we're anticipating. Uh, we got our backs. Um, Picking up blitzes and our lines getting their heads up, making calls, and uh, you know, so far, so far, so good. We'll continue to get better, though. Do you, okay. do you like going up against aggressive defenses, high risk, high reward type defenses that are really going to come after you? Yeah, I think so, and especially with the guys that we have on the outside, our receivers. You know, you, you put them one on one against anybody in the country, and, and I trust those guys, and um, they're going to win. So, you know, I, I'll, I'll put my money on them. So much has been talked about the schedule. Is, is you guys embark on? You know, what most people are talking about is you know the toughest schedule ever. What what's the feeling amongst the team as you begin this journey? I think uh, excitement. Um, you know, I for one just gives us a lot of opportunity. But I think it's important that we as a team we don't get ahead of ourselves. You know, this week we play Virginia. That's where all of our time. That's where all of our attention is. And uh, we're going to take it one game at a time. And um, you know, we're getting ready to to go play and uh, beat a good football team. Is there that sense in this finally game week? We've been prepping for Virginia for a couple of days, but it's finally game week. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, it almost seems a little surreal because we've been practicing for so long, but nothing came as a result of it, you know. So it's kind of like, are we really playing Virginia this week? You know, everything's the same. But, uh, no, there is definitely that excitement. I think the buzz on the football field today, everybody was going really hard. And uh, everybody's really excited. So um, I'm excited about it. I love the guys competing around me, and, and they're ready to go. You guys elected three former walk-ons of, of the four captains. Mm -hmm. What do you think that says about your team? Um, you know, I don't. I don't think like when we vote for camp captains. I'm not saying, you know, hey, Skyler's a walk-on. I'm going to vote for him, or I'm not going to vote for him. Um, it, it's. It's. Uh, I think the fact that they were walk-ons shows that they worked hard, and they earned what they what they have. And so I think. Um, guys respect them because you know they weren't just given a scholarship. They came on, they worked hard, and they had to earn it. And you know I think that's probably uh, what shows and how they were elected as captains. Were you a little surprised at all that it wasn't maybe some of the more high-profile players? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Um, you know I, I love the choices. I love all those guys and look up to, and, and they're going to do they're going to do a great job. And uh, you know we're, we're a team, and, and they'll represent us well. And um, but, you know, as a team, we'll, we'll take care of business. We'll look after ourselves, and we'll look to them when we need to and, and uh, get things done. How would you assess your readiness level with, uh, what, five game, days till game day? Um, look, I, I think we're ready. Um, we, we've had a lot of practices. Obviously, we haven't had a lot of time with uh, the Virginia prep and things like that. Um, as far as... Um, us, us knowing our offense and things like that and going hard and going fast, we are ready. But um, I don't feel that we are ready in the sense of what Virginia is going to present us. But, again, we've had two days two days to look at it. So uh, we'll, we'll get there, and I'm, I'm confident that we're going to be ready to go by, by Saturday. Does it make a difference whether or not you start on the road or at home? Or you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I think maybe, probably, I think for some guys, guys that haven't been in a, a game time environment, it might be a little hard to go on the road. It's going to be loud. Guys are going to be booing us. And, you know, offensively, uh, it makes things difficult when you uh, trying to make calls at the line of scrimmage, when you got fans screaming and yelling. And so it definitely adds a unique challenge. But, you know, I, I like the guys around us, and, and uh, we're going to take care of business. And we had the speakers in the, in the practice field today, and um, we're prepping for that.
tasting it's close to a sellout out there in Charlottesville. How important is it for you to have that nonverbal communication with all the players on the field? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you, you, you can't rely on being able to communicate because, you know, last year the games that I was a part of, you know, Utah was really loud, Boise State was loud, and, um, you know, we had some big mishaps, some snaps that, that cost us, and, you know, we can't afford to have mistakes like that. So um, the way our offense is structured is we don't need to communicate, and, uh, you know, it should allow us to, to minimize the mistakes that the fans and, and the loud noise cause. The depth chart shows that the offensive line starters are still not determined. Yeah. Is that troubling, concerning, or just the kind of the fact that a lot of them are going to play? Uh, I think it goes down to a lot of them are going to play. You know, so as fast as we're going, as hard as we're going, uh, that, that's the reality of it. So I don't know exactly how that rotation is going to be, but I trust Coach 2J and Coach Anai to uh, work out what's going to be best for our team. And, uh, you know, whether whether it's Racker Matthews or, or DeAndre Wesley, you know I know that those guys are going to go and compete, and uh, we'll do our best to get it done. It also looked like Eric Thornton was brought back on offense. Is that is that a permanent thing? He's back on offense. Yeah. yeah what, what's it? What's he seemed to have a really good camp, and then obviously had to move over. Mm -hmm. what, what did you see out of him those first couple of weeks uh, offensively? Uh, first couple of weeks of fall camp. Yeah. The, the kid competes. Um, I love playing with Eric, and as a as a quarterback, even though he's a he's a short guy, um, he'll go up for any ball. He'll lay out for any ball, and um, he's gonna fight for it. So I, I love how he competes, and I love playing with guys like that, and and, and it rubs off with the guys he's around. So um, he's, he's very sound in his routes, and uh, he, he's a student of the game. And you know, I love I love playing with Eric, and I love having him back on offense. Jamal talked about how much he's enjoyed preparing for football, not having to worry about schools. This kind of uh, unique experience. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it is unique, but it is it is extremely nice. You know, we'll, we'll get ramped up and and uh, you know get the tutors and everything else rolling. But uh, it's nice to be able to focus on um, Virginia without having having the worry of homework and and uh, things like that. Day. What's your favorite part of their road game experience? I like going into hostile environments. You know, I like going in and um, having having the fans not rooting for you. And you know, it's it's a fun environment. When you think about uh, a, a game experience as a little kid, you know, I I thought about going into a hostile environment and uh, going competing and playing well and and coming out with a win. You know, nobody wants to lose on the field, and um, you know, that's our mentality.